Guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of Michael Morris Golf. So I'm trying to be a PGA Tour winner. In order to do that, I decided why not have a caddy to help me up my chances. George, I'm excited for this. Yes. Me and George are teaming up against his brother, Wesley, who is uh, preparing for battle. He's preparing for battle with uh, bread rolls and cheese. Not just any old bread rolls. King Hawaiian rolls so and King turkey. Hawaiian and turkey. So that's hard for me to digest. Well, no, literally, no, no, no. yeah. <laughs> we are playing the match course out here at PGA National. We're starting on hole number 10. Let's get right into this. I'm hitting two iron off the first. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I think it's gonna be fun. Let's go. Yeah, the two iron here leaves you that perfect distance. A, it gets you to commit off the tee, right. stay aggressive, which is important against Wesley. Staying aggressive, staying committed on every shot. Yeah. So, yeah, and like making it. sure I get to pin high. I've always had yeah. this fear of going long, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, I do that now. Yeah. Wesley has on. I'll play what? Watch out for the tracers, Wesley. Yeah. Got gotcha, you, dog. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Good shot. Yeah, that's the widest part of the fairway. It's yeah, perfect. I'd say, honestly, just do that. Pick you a tree on that line yeah. and just swing your swing. It's nice not having to like play golf and compete and like have the pressure of playing. I do love that, but it's nice. Like, is it nice knowing that you don't have to take a loss like directly today? Cut that, Bradley. That's the, he's the worst. Like, the first hole. One of your jobs today is to is to do try as hard as you can to get in Wesley's head. Can't happen. Can't happen. Bradley got in your head yesterday. I know. Bradley knows he's the only one that can get in my head. So this is gonna have to be three against one. Beautiful, beautiful. Good ball, Micah. Thanks. Let's go. It's a good way to start. Feels good to hit hit the fairway. Guys, this is going to be fun. George, thanks for doing this. I feel like we actually have a good chance, especially if I can hit greens, because I feel like I'm putting really well. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I think no better way to, to get it done out here at the match course. Yeah. A little bit longer than we were hoping. Got 183 to the jar jar. We're gonna go a little six iron. Oh, a little that's bit. a great, ah, oh, it's hanging left. Oh, but kicked right, so. That's two nice strikes to start the day. 172 into the wind. I think 175. I think that eight iron, that 175 number gets you aggressive and. Yeah, I like that. Also, not trying to. I don't want to really try to finesse something right now. I'd rather swing home. Yeah. I feel like, given y'all are going to be talking play numbers, that this is a very. I, I actually like that. A very good. good. We'll add a little, a little dynamic here. Yeah. We have the foresight. Me and George said 175 is the number, so it's just a nice, firm eight iron. Swing. Oh, and he's bringing it back off a slope that we Look didn't that. know existed. 174, George. There, hey, we're on to something. Maybe all I need is a caddy. I do have a price, so I mean, we can we can talk about. It. We'll work something out. We'll work something out. Michael looks to be about pin high. You're four yards from absolute disaster over that knob. Came back to about pin high. Got about 25 feet for birdie. Oh my God! If you hit that four more feet to the left, it, it I spin, know. spins down down the hole. Good shot to Wesley too. It's that's 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 great. Kind of straight early, and then like some go left. See, this is where I like to like kind of take away my thinking, and I rely on somebody like who George, like George, who is, he's great at everything when it comes to golf. So I'm just gonna kind of rely on him. I'd say a foot or so out on the right. All right, I like a little it. more. Like out in here. I think he's talking more like three feet, but he verbalized one foot. Yeah, whatever this is. So two feet, two and a half feet. Good putt. It's a good putt. George, that was a great read, great start, par. Wesley has a chance to get to one up. You're just a little off today, but that doesn't make you. I feel like that's what he does. Let's see what he does. Um, that's okay. It's okay. No, we, we got it. Like I said, some days pars are great. Yeah. It's fine. We don't worry about what the other player does. We just play the golf course, and hopefully at the end of the day, we're going to make more birdies than the golf course, and then Wesley will make less birdies than golf. Yeah, I will say that I've never seen so many putts come slow, so close to missing, but you still make them. If you want him to start going in the middle of the hole, I can do that. Yeah. I mean, I was just I was just utilizing the shape that was cut. 145. 45. What's your pitching wedge distance? It's literally stock. I think it's stock pitching wedge. wedge. Is it into the wind? Uh, not enough. Ball feels like it's traveling a little bit further. It's so kind of maybe aim it at that tree in the center, the dead palm tree. Yeah, just stock, stock pitching wedge. All right, or 151 from here, pretty garden variety. Wind's coming in two off the left, looking for about a 152 shot. Oh, it's holding right there too. That's a great shot. There you go. It's little, short. A little short. It's plenty club. Not 51. I mean, I missed my number by one, so I don't think it's too bad up there. Might be a, a pace short. Um, yeah, I think pitch wedge here, he needs to hit it solid, but 
you know, keep, it keeps them aggressive. And also, if it, if it does come up 10 feet short, that's fine. Uh, so I like this. Just pick, pick a target. I'm going right at that center palm tree. Yeah. Oh, hole in one. Oh, the bad Good kick, shot. but what a great shot. No, 151. Oh, 151. That's perfect. Dude, that is perfect. I'm telling you. A little into. Consistency is key. Y'all thought I forgot. I feel like the thing in match play, I could be wrong. I've played a little bit of match play in my day, but you really have to focus on your own game. Absolutely. That is like the key to success. I feel like I'm gonna let my putter get in his head today. Now, if I have to revert to, to spewing out of the mouth, I'll do that too, but. Downhill, right to left. Not one to get super aggressive on. You like drip it in there. I mean, I didn't say anything, did you? That gun. I mean, I'm telling you. Maybe I need. I just need more joy in my life when I see that happen. But it just happens so much. Like I said, we're just we're just gonna let this get in his head today. And uh, oh, we already we already got him talking about it. It's all, all, already in there. That's just a good read. Just a good solid stroke on that line. It's perfect. I whimped it out. Caddy's fault. It's always a caddy's fault. I gave you a bad read, partner. There. That's no, on me. It, well, That's I mean, on me. it was end over end. I just speaking of caddies, usually it's the caddy's job to get the flag stick. I'll get it. Guys, I'm two down after two. Uh, Wesley's made two birdies in a row. It's gonna be okay. We gotta stabilize. Just, just, we gotta stay. It's fine. Eventually, he's gonna hit a bad, bad shot, bad putt somewhere. We're gonna have to capitalize. All right, we are on to hole three. It's a very drivable hole, depending on what we want to do. Yeah, that's a um, great. I mean, this is a great looking hole. The pin is only 278, Ooh. but I tell you, long is completely dead. 310. Looks like dog. Perfect dog. It's only 229. I, I, I feel like I could even get two iron there. If I tug a three wood just a little bit, it's mm -hmm. carrying the green. Really? Yeah. Okay. You think you can carry a, draw, a three wood 280? Yes. Right now, oh, like just a stock one. How about this? We take two iron and three wood up there. We see what he does. So. I like that. Is that the is that the match play mindset? Yeah. All right. 310 to the hole. No, it's 278. 278. Yeah, yeah your rangefinder. Your rangefinder sucks. I think it could just be a real nice little fade three wood. 284. Got it. Hey, still dog. It's gonna be reaching to get a driver there for you, huh? <laughs> Son of a gun. Go in. Go in. Oh my gosh. I think it lipped out. This man just almost made a hole in one. I think it lipped out. Oh my. Whew. I thought I heard something about the drives. It, I don't know. Play it at the left side of the green and you hit, you hit a cut. Kind of hit it at that bunker with a little cut. Yeah. And just rip it. You got room up there. Another hole over there. That's not good. The satisfaction you get when you got someone chirping you a little bit and then delivering the good shot on top of it, it just, it's another wrinkle that it's hard to explain on camera. I feel like I've always thrived under like the trash talk situation when people start chirping. I just love it for some reason. It literally plugged. Yeah, I think. I think wow, that is so lucky. I literally just ran over it and it's literally plugged right there. Just a high lobber. I've seen your short game, it's good. <laughs> you got more green than you think up there, so it's not like you have to get crazy cute okay. with it. Oh, great shot. Sit. Oh, Sit. oh my gosh. Did he go over the ridge? Yeah, it just went just over the ridge. Look. <laughs> yeah, it went just a little, it kicked to the left of it. I don't you, know, you, man. You line this thing up. Yeah, I think it hit the hole personally, but. Nonetheless, I mean, a great shot. That could have been the moment we were looking for. It's a must make if I want any chance to tie the hole. What a putt. A great, little more pace and that would have been minus speed, but still a really great putt. Our hands forced just to go ultimate bailout drip here. Still going to try and give it a chance to go in, but no reason to get too frisky with this one. No reason to get too frisky, like I said. Just just take your birdies as they come. And I'm taking my parts, he's taking his birdies. I feel a little bit like I got struck by lightning. Now it's time to catch lightning in a bottle. This is, this is so exactly. So he gets struck, but then he catches it. it. My back's against the wall. I'm good though, this is this is fun. It's 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 cool seeing someone play really good and it's time for me to, to play up. Yeah. 145 from here, so probably 143. 140 yards. It looks like that pin's kind of in the front. It looks like a bowl, too, kind of if you get a little long and spin it 
back. Maybe one. 35 shot. If the wind is behind us, I can feel it right now. It's like 50. 33. That's asking a lot though. I really have to kind of feather a pitching wedge. Got pitching wedge. I'm going with uh, about a 38 to 40 shot. Oh, a little deep. Go in. Wesley? No. It spun back short of the hole. Oh my gosh. Oh my gracious. The thought of potential back to back hole in ones right there being that close. What is happening right now? I don't know, Micah, but honestly, it's just. Just a Division I butt whooping is what it looks like so far. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got 50 degree. It looks like a tap in, maybe a little bit short for Wesley, so. It definitely, I think, I don't know. I like it. Good swing. Oh. Go in the hole. What a shot. Good shot. Hey, that's how we back it up, that was partner. Really nice. 142. That's how we back it up, partner. Yep. This is great. No, no, those were quality there. I get to putt first this time, and he gets to see a birdie go. Yes. Gosh dang it, Wesley. No, it's not a tap in. Gosh dang it, Wesley. I can't, I can't believe that. I mean, I can't believe, believe that in. missed. That hurts the plums a little bit. Yeah, I think firm and just right in the gut. Some would say this is a must make. Just like that. Yes. I mean, have the hole there with matching birdies. Bird. Wesley's four under, I'm one under. We are on to hole number 14, which is our fifth hole of the day. Oh, a three off lead, baby. We'll just nurse that thing. I just feel like the ones that come that close, those, those are the ones that need to drop. When the camera's on, camera's off doesn't really matter if it misses. When the camera's on, those need to drop. If I can get one on the putting surface, get inside of 10 feet, I'll make it. Now, I wish he would hit driver here, but if you're not confident with it, you can't hit the club. So I'm okay with him hitting two iron here and just rely on the wedge game. That's where you kind of That's in the fairway, yeah. Good thing there's a country mile up there to hit it in. That was a toe right pull hook. All right, I'm going two iron as well. Don't hit that tree. Get away from that tree. Well, that's right. fine. Yeah, I mean, that's why you pick a good target because it allows for a miss to be fine. So. Yeah, it's the shortest distance between A to B is a straight line. Yeah, the driver would have been. I like. I'm just too risky. God. Can't be, can't be letting my caddy go. 83, back into a breeze. We're gonna flight this one down a touch. The problem is the greens have been a little soft and a little rippy. I'm gonna try and do is see about 86 on this thing. Oh gosh, entirely too far. Here comes the rip. I mean, just, that's what I was worried about off the down slope, but just shooting out. Hit that about nine yards too far. 71 yards, a little bit into the teeth. Mm -hmm. Did you just try to fist Yeah, that's, that's, oh, okay. that's okay. I got you. I'm never going to leave you hanging, George. If you hit a 75 yard shot, it'll land 73 ish right now with this wind. Tell me 72. I want 75. You want 75? Because it's going to land 73 and spin back in the hole. Okay, deal. Um, me and George have come up with a number that we like. Is that long? That's perfect. Ooh. Good shot. Making a little sauce. Yeah, right there, 77. I really am happy with how I hit that. It was exactly what I wanted. So right. once again, I get to make it and let him look at it. These things are a lot closer than I thought. Mm -hmm. I mean, from here, it looks like like outside the left edge, but from the other side, it's like way straighter. Is that a straight putt? Um, no, it's, I think we're, it's gonna have to air to the right. So left center, left edge. What a Good putt, huge. What a Good freaking putt. read, what a read. Let's go, come That's on. That's huge. Unless he was doubting our read too, he said he was gonna, we were going to miss it left. I thought you were going to miss That's it left. That's what I thought I was going to do. I mean. <laughs> All right, Wesley's five under through five. I'm two under. We matched the holes there again. Good bird. We're, we're there. I'm, I'm going to go be completely honest with you. I'm glad he's the representative and I'm not. Behind Micah while he was putting, telling George, I thought that Micah was going to miss it to the left. Hey, so at some point, Wesley has to miss. The one thing about Wesley, I will say, is like when he feels it, he just makes everything. If I hadn't had any of the information that I got from watching Micah's putt, I probably would have missed my putt to the right because I thought Micah's was going to be really straight and mine was going to be maybe pick one a little bit to the left. So 
Shout out Micah for the good read there. That tree on the corner is 257. So yeah, essentially, I, you, like if you hit two iron 240, I just I feel like that's ah, but we have another 15 yards back there. So I think these these two iron. Yeah, I'm gonna take my rangefinder and I'll shoot right. the shoot what we want to look. This at. is an odd turkey here. I think I'm gonna go a uh, little two iron kind of up the center here. Could absolutely hit driver over all the stuff, but at this point in the match, it's really not worth it. Yeah, it's definitely two iron because I think that hill, if it gets going left, it'll just roll back down. It's it. 270 to the base of that tree. You're not hitting into the wind. You're not hitting two iron. Absolutely. 270. Right. Yeah, two iron to the base of that tree. That's it. Good shot. Oh yeah, I mean two iron is more than perfect. Yeah, just trust it. I want to try to kind of favor the left side here. Give myself the shortest number in. Beauty. Yep. That's all you need right there, partner. Stay in the fairway. That's fine. This is like everything that I love for my channel to be. This is it right here. Good competitive matches. Really good golf. Come on. I like the positioning of the match here. It, it feels like we've already got this one in the bag. It's, it's more of if we can knock a little birdie or an eagle down right here. Really add to some excitement. Back it up, Terry. Terry Henry. How far you got? I got 210 into the breeze. What'd you hit? I got four iron. Well, I guess that's to say, what's your number? I towed it. Oh, got a favorable kick to the left. 193 yards for me. Into the wind. I feel like that's a six iron. Is that six iron? Feels six. Or is it seven? Six iron should barely, ah, uh, yeah, I think you gotta go seven. I gotta hit this at least 200 to get it there, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Beautiful shot. Go. Really good. All, all you can do there. Yeah. Hopefully it's on the green. Hopefully I'm putting. That's where we want to be. I'm thoroughly enjoying this golf course. It is literally designed for match play, so it's kind of cool. Recently opened out here at PGA National. It's just a lot of fun, so shout out to them. We played on the big break here back in 2015. Wesley got through Q School at this course, um, PJ National. That's how we got on the tours out here, so it's kind of cool to come back and see it and have all those like cool memories. He's also yeah. finished fourth at the Honda here. Yeah. So this, this area's like, got a lot of great memories here. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. Yeah, call me crazy. I think it's just a putt for some reason. A putt? I think. There's a lot of slope there. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how, good, how you feel about chipping. It's not, chip's not a bad play. If I putt it, it's going to go like this, right? Yeah. Let's trust it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Yes! <laughs> yes! Let's go! Come on! <laughs> what a read, what a putt. Dude, that hit the pin at like six miles an hour. Great eagle. I mean, I thought that this putt was gonna be to win the match and... <laughs> Not today, Ricky. A little more pressure here. Come on, break, ball. We, we, we stunned him. That's wow, still good six hole. birdies in a row. Good hole. Yeah, well, six under through six means nothing. Six awesome. under to four under. We're literally collectively 10 under through <laughs> however many holes. This is ridiculous. Three to go. Two down, three to go. Just one I thought it couldn't get better. It does. Hey, good job making me putt it, both of you. I had a feeling that I was going to make that. It literally hit the pin, and I thought it was going to stay out. And it, then and just it like, dropped back in. <laughs> All right, here we go, 265, then you just gotta hit that two iron again, just rip it. You're gonna fight 250, and you just chip it in for, for Eagle. Gotta, gotta keep him confident. What a shot. Good shot. That's just a great golf shot. Yeah. Thanks. 242 carry, it's gonna be probably roll 15 yards or so. I take it you're going for it. Oh right, yeah. Tig's getting here nice and tight to try and apply pressure, I like that. Micah! Oh, it kicked, it's in that bunker. It kicked it's not, right. yeah, it was. Uh, it, it kicked it, left. Ooh. Bottom groove, I mean, just hor horrible. I mean, horrible contact. I'm still alive. Yeah, Three Wesley, holes to play. Wesley's reeling? Wesley's in it, he's, he, that's a little bit of a tricky spot over there. I mean, we're still up there greenside. We're greenside, we got a chance to make bird here. Yeah, I'm never counting him out of birdie. Yeah, you can't with a wedge in his hand, doesn't matter where it is. Yeah. But we are in position A compared to him. A uphill chip, 
probably from a good lie, a lot of green to work with. Hey, I like where we're at. What an absolute development we have here. Short and right of this bunker. This is the... Oh, stop it. You stop it, cart. 30 to 40 yard bunker shots, not fun. 30 yard chip shots, a lot of fun. Go. It, it really... Okay, that's pretty good. Good shot, Wesley. Yeah, that's really good from there. George, stay about where you want me to land it so I can get a visual. Yeah, kind of hops up, will spin, and then kind of trickles out of there. All right, bet. Landed it right where he told him to. Oh, oh good, good shot. shot. Thanks. Kind of where that schmutz is if you go firm, like half a cup out in the left. If you want to dive it, I think you can even go full cup. Massive putt here. Oh, Tig. I hit it just a little firm, just a little more pace than you have it. You just kind of eased up just enough. I mean, it's still a good putt with the speed. I'm currently four under, and he has this putt to win the match. Oh. I hit it too hard. Whoa. Hey, he's not in there yet. I mean, I went for the throat and I just hammered it on a nice soft line. I th I was not expecting that, but I am okay with it. Good putt. Uh, hey. Man, that hurts. Two to play. Two holes to play. I am two down. Wesley is six under. I am four under. This is just about as good as it gets. I don't care where you are or who you're from. Because my guess is there's not many matches out there where you close a guy out by birdieing every single hole. And I had that opportunity. And by golly, it could have happened. If Micah had just decided to make par on that last hole instead of eagle, we would have done it. We just dodged a bullet. Major bullet. And now we have an opportunity. I think just hit that same little two iron. Yeah, sorry, two iron. Yeah, just right up the gut, just right at the pin. Go with the two iron. Hit something about 250 out there. It's downwind. Leave us a wedge for a second. This looks to be the tightest hole on the golf course, so we'll keep it smart. <sighs> this is what gets me fired up right here. I know it gets Wesley fired up too. Oh, I stay fired up, baby. Oh boy, what have we done? What have we done? Did you see it? Oh, yeah, we've just bounce. hit it right. We've hit it just right behind a tree. Got all that room over there. Starts with a four-footer missed, and then it leads to the next. Wow, we're we're crumbling. Yeah, just, just elite. Right time, right place. I don't care where you are and who you're from. <laughs> Which that actually kind of makes sense, where you are. And who you're from, like, like your, as AKA like, your parents. Yeah. I'm uh, playing chess, you're playing checkers. I came from the creator, you came from your parents. <sighs> I mean, does it, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, it does, but you have to think about it. You gotta think outside the box. It's actually statistically proven that people who kind of struggle to like it with really high IQs, the brain works faster than the mouth does. Yeah. So that's why I struggle to get to get words out. Yeah, alligator. Man, look at that. Yeah. I mean, from five minutes ago, standing over a putt to close them out with all birdies to now facing a jail situation over here in the right trees, him in the middle of the fairway. <sighs> I can feel the tension in the air. Dude, well, he's right behind a tree too. Oh, we got, a, we got a little window. That's all we needed. No, he's got room to draw it. Now, the question is, now you start finding what your extreme left line is. Palm trees on the left are kind of my extreme left line. Got to get it up over this mound, but keep it under that. I don't even know if, I don't even know how possible this is. If it hits this root right here, y'all boys are in danger, but it could make for some great content. I'll, uh, I'll get behind this windshield. <laughs> like I said, that root, trying to get it over that root and under the tree was going to be difficult. We had no idea where oh that was going. Oh my gosh. That was in the air for 10 seconds and we were all just stunned, waiting for it to land on us. Like now six minutes ago to where we are now. I mean, he had a putt to go seven out through seven. I'm going to cut this around instead of go for the straight gap because I can fly it a little further with the cut. Oh, and it hit that tree. It just nicked the tree. Came straight down. Oh, boy. 
One, two, three. It's a 125 shot. Just a stock 125. Yeah, or even 130. You got, you got to up There's a big slope. 130. I, so that's stock just a really one, smooth 50. Well, it is downwind. Stock 50, yeah. 125. I like a stock 50. I think 128 number just because long is better than short, ain't it? And there's a big ridge there. So just a smoothie here. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, oh I no. hit it over the ridge. Oh no. How downwind was that? God, this, is... this got interesting quick. That could be a tough two putt. That could be a real tough two putt. I feel like George, right? George you, like lives in these emotional roller coasters and I feel like I'm in the middle of one right now. I mean, I got a very makeable wedge shot. He's got a tough, tough two putt. 67 yards. And look at that out here. They're already talking about what I got to do, which is a pretty good situation. Cut nippy 58. What if he chips this in? I mean, that, where that pin is, there's no chance. Unless he's, you think he can spin it enough? Oh my, that has so much nip. <laughs> That's it, that is literally a tour pro right there. That, I mean, you heard it on contact, and then, <laughs> like, when it landed, it was like <laughs> All I gotta do is get it just to the edge. Uh, just. Yeah, you know, a little bit past that. It's not going to be like you have a lot more room down here. Still going to be coming pretty aggressively from the from the left. Um, not really. I think just left edge, man. Because you saw Wesley's Wesley's spun, and I know it's different angles, but it went that way more. The thing that I don't like about this putt is that once it gets past the hole, it's going back uphill. Yeah. So you got like a built-in catcher's mitt. Left edge. Mm -hmm. You think it's more than that? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No, it's not. Left, like you're talking this left. Yeah. Left edge of the hole. You want me to hit left edge of the hole? Yeah. Straightens up a little bit. Go, 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 go. I absolutely babied it. It's not bad. I don't, I don't think he truly believed my read. I saw him give a little uh, potable, a little pushy. I didn't. I didn't trust it. I really did not. I will be completely I, I just, honest. I had you. I had you. Hey, but no, uh, great, great speed. Yeah, good speed. All right, Wesley makes this. You know, it changes things a little bit for me, but I feel very confident. That I'm gonna make or that things are gonna... No, that I'll make, that I... Oh, uh, okay. Going just on the left side of the hole here. Good bogey. Thanks. Yep. Great bogey. All right, George, here we go. This is it, this yep. is our chance. This, this inside right edge. You saw his kind of go a little bit left, or a little right, so he's gonna go a little bit left. It's a shame he's not wearing a heart rate monitor right now. That is such a shame. I'm speechless. I know. I didn't want it to end like that. Wow, what, what a match. Insane. What Good a job. match. First match ever. It came down to the eighth hole. I, I scratched and clawed back and man, 10 birdies total, I think, between the both of us through eight holes. And an eagle in there and somewhere. It, well, nine birdies and an eagle. Thank you. Hey, no, you played well. I mean, the fact you, he birdied his first four, five holes, six holes. And, I, yeah, it's and you were the in eight. the match. That speaks to your playing there. Cause most like, Anyone else, heck, you me. You get six birdies dropped on from Wesley, you're like, okay, it's over. But you took it, like you said, to the eighth hole with a chance to go tonight. That's impressive. Brian Bros, link in the description. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That was one of the best matches I've had in a long time. If you haven't liked the video, let's get it to uh, 12,000 likes. Thanks to you guys. Thanks for having me on, guys. What an idiot, man. <laughs>